I am way overdue on these videos. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. I know I'm overdue on these videos, but I'm back with one. This video is going to be a DIY wallpapers video because I do them sometimes and I'm definitely overdue for one so I'm back with another one so if you enjoy these give them a thumbs up because that'd be awesome. So basically these wallpapers are basically themed across the 4th of July. I also have done different ones in the past which I can link them below if you want to go check them out. So I'm going to go to the video and let you see what the wallpapers that I made. Leg up! So yes, I understand that I'm overdue on these videos, but I am doing another one right now. And if you know how I do these, I like to start on my desktop background because Red and Link are amazing people. So we're going to start this tutorial with GIMP because I use that and it's pretty much a free version of Photoshop. So how we're going to start this is we're going to make a new document size which is 9 by 16. 9 being the width and 16 being the height and that is in inches people. That is in inches. So I'm going to just type that in. And I like to start with a transparent base because I feel as though it's the most clean and better to use. Um, by the way, if I didn't say it, this is going to be the American flag wallpaper and pretty much we are going to be using the square selection tool that is in the corner over there. And we're going to be making the blue box that these stars will be on top of because if you see the American flag, they have, it's got stars on it, which is representing the 50 states, I assume, or I think. But we're going to make that a dark blue color, so we're just going to have to find a dark blue color here on this palette of colors just make it like a normal dark blue like not like a navy but a normal dark blue and we're going to use the paint bucket the paint bucket tool and then we're just gonna paste that there and i don't i don't really like the size of this box the way i made it so i'm gonna fix it and make it a bigger size because i don't really like it that size and then once we have that all kind of um situated I'm going to make the stripes now of the wallpaper, so we're going to be using that same tool that we used for the, um, for the blue box. And you can do this different ways. Um, you can make a new layer and then put it across the whole background of it. You'll see when I do it. But we're just going to be making the white and red stripes now. Um, you could start here, but I'd, it's better to start across the whole wallpaper and just put that layer behind that blue box layer that you see there. Then we're going to be using the same bucket tool but we're going to be making it red instead of blue. Then we're going to be making another new layer for the white stripe. You're going to do the same thing but you're going to just make the box right underneath the red box. And then you're going to take the red um, bar layer and we're going to um, duplicate that a couple times. Then you're going to be doing the same thing with the white one. And then you're going to take the red bars and you're going to put them down and then take the white one and put them down and, and then keep alternating until you get down the whole thing. So this flag needs some stars, right? So you can either go on PowerPoint and make them or go to Google like I'm going to do now and go find one and download one. So I'm going to I'm just going to type in whitestar.png, go to the images part of Google and find one I like, which is probably going to be that first one on the left, yep, right there. And we're going to save that by right-clicking and clicking save image as and then save it where you need to and then I mean I really don't care cuz then like I'm just going to take it and drag it from the bottom there where it just went to. 
So we're going to take that, we're going to drag that into our GIMP document, and we're going to put that down. And you can't see it. That's because we need to put it on top of the layer, and for some reason when I screen record, it doesn't let me drag it, but when I'm not screen recording, it does let me drag it. I don't know why. But we're going to put that on top of all the layers, and then we need to make it bigger because it's too small. So we're going to take out the black background by um, using the tool that will let you select the same color throughout the whole document and we have now just a white star. Now we're going to make it the correct size that we want it to be. We're going to move it to where we want it, the first one to be. And then you're going to do the same thing that you did with the stripes and you're, you're just going to duplicate that same letter, same layer a couple times and just put them throughout the whole blue part when you've done that then like if you want it to be more rustic and put a filter on it you can but if you don't want to then you will be done once you put the stars on then you're done and then all you have to do is save it and then send it to your phone your tablet whatever device that you're going to be using this for and use it now on to wallpaper number two this is going to be made kind of horizontal, but it still is going to be used vertical, but the word is going to be looking weird when you put it vertical. I've actually made one for my personal use. Not not this word, but this kind of same design, sort of. But we're going to make a new document, which is going to look like this. It's just the phone size that I use. And you're going to make sure that the paint color is white, and you're going to use the paint bucket tool and make the background white, like this. Or you could have just start to make the background white when you had the chance, but I don't do that. But anyway, so we're just going to flip this 90 degrees horizontal so it's kind of across it like that so i'm just gonna write the word america out because that's kind of what this is based off of america and you're gonna want to choose kind of like a thick font sort of like not one that's skinny i mean like you could like if you want it's your it's your wallpaper but i think this might be better with like a thicker font so i think i used dk honey guide caps which fun fact that's the font that i use to put my date across my blogs so just a little behind the scenes there for you guys but um yeah so i'm just gonna make this kind of go across it with a little bit of space on each side of each a because there's an a in the beginning and an a at the end so we're gonna kind of fix that kind of like in the middle of it sort of with a little bit of space So you can use the wallpaper from wallpaper number one or use one from Google like I have here because I want to make the text the American flag sort of. So I wanted to make the stars and the stripes for the text so I made sure that was covering the text. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that the parts that you want are covering the text like so and on top of the text. So then you're going to go to the text layer, right click and click alpha to selection. It's going to do that. And then you're going to go to the flag layer and then hit select and invert. And then hit the delete button on your keyboard. Make sure you're on the flag layer though. Then you're going to get that. And then if you want to add a border, which I do, like I, would, I will put one on there. But And then you can just add whatever you want to it. Maybe some fireworks or whatever you want. But if not, then you're done at this step. And then all you have to do is save it and use it. Final wallpaper that we're going to make is going to say Happy 4th of July because I thought that was appropriate for this time of year. The first thing we have to do, as you see we have a blank screen here, is we're going to make a new canvas or make a new wallpaper size pretty much that looks like this. And you're going to go to your color selection option for the editor that you're using. And you're going to use either a dark blue or a navy blue. I used a navy blue because navy blue is kind of the theme of the 4th of July. And then you're going to use the paint bucket tool or the bucket fill tool. And you're just going to color that for the whole background. Or um, you could just, you know, use the paintbrush and, and just brush over it. But this way is easier. And what you're going to do then is go to your text tool. And for the text... You're, you're gonna put one line per, like one word per line. So the first line, it, it's gonna say happy and then hit enter and then fourth, enter of, enter July. And you're gonna kind of put that in the middle. So kind of do like the text alignment setting in the middle. And then you're gonna wanna pick like any kind of font. So 
So once you have your text placed on your wallpaper how you wish, we're going to make this themed red, white, and blue. So we need to make the text either white or red and you can pick how you want it to be but I alternated mine and I made the fourth red and I made the word July red as well because I don't want one of the text to be blue because the background is blue. But you do what you wish, it's your wallpaper. But now we need to make sort of a background for the text. So we're going to make a new layer that's going to be behind the text layer. And then you're going to do that right click alpha to selection thing for the text. And then make sure the paint color is white. Go to your blank new layer and just kind of click on the text. And that's going to create a white copy of the text. And then you're going to kind of move that white layer to the right a little bit by using your right arrow keys make it kind of look 3d and then on that layer that white text layer you're just going to go to your blending modes and then go to soft light and there you go and then if you want to put like fireworks or whatever you want on it that's fine but if not then you're done and then you guys know the drill you're gonna save it and use it so i hope you guys enjoyed these yes i know i'm completely overdue for these but more will be coming out soon and i do have a date for the live stream because i said when i reach 100 subscribers that i would be live streaming i have that date planned i think it's on july 21st from it's on a saturday from 2 p.m to 2 45 p.m i can put the date and stuff on the screen and also in the description and also on my Facebook page. I forgot to say this in the intro, these wallpapers will be on my We Heart It, so those links. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!